my dear students uh, the people of the himalayas they are quite wise and uh, because uh, they are the descendants of the rishis and uh, they have uh, the knowledge of the herbs which are present only in the himalayas and uh, they know their use and once i was asking why don't you you people do not reveal the secret of these so they said that if we will reveal the secret of uh, these plants and the herbs produced by them then the people will make them extinct and they will exploit all these resources and which are produced uh, which are produced by the experiment of the nature so uh, being wise uh, they, these people will not reveal and i know that uh, there is a tribe in the himalayas near the china border which uh, um, give a small uh, this extract of a poisonous plant to the young one bonds and then these bonds never fall ill uh, of a, they don't have uh, these common ailments and they um, and these herbs uh, which are present in the aroma of the flowers also they provide longevity to them they can live there for 100 years and, and they mostly they do not fall ill uh, and they require very less medicine in their life so my uh, dear students today uh, i will be talking about the different kinds of the molecules like of which we are made and uh, their behavior is reflected uh, in human behavior also now the, you all know about that uh, there are two kinds of the nucleic acids the rnas and the dnas and initially the molecular biologists say that uh, there was an rna world because the rna is single stranded it can fold itself though it can carry a small amount of the information and it can also carry the uh, amino acids and it can act as a catalyst to join them to form the peptide bonds so initially there was an rna world and later on when the information became large uh, it was a, there was a need to store that information and when the uracil uh, changed to convert it into thiamine then a new kind of a molecule developed and that uh, was the dna which was double standard and it uh, it could uh, conserve that information in its another another strand and uh, there was no need of the second round of replication uh, because of the double stranded nature and there was the, this uh, semi conservative replication this all you have studied uh, in the biology but uh, today one thing which i want to tell you that initially when these molecules they were present in an ultraviolet atmosphere where there was no oxygen and they were quite stable the proteins which were made they were shared by all and uh, these uh, proteins and the amino acids uh, though by the van der waals interaction they were very near to the molecules which were uh, catalyzing them and synthesizing them uh, they were uh, being shared by the other another molecules also but later on the one molecule developed and that molecule was the phospholipids which uh, act uh, to reseal them and uh, the first cell came into existence so this uh, sealing of the molecules this creation of the boundary caused the selfishness among the um, uh, these molecules and uh, because of their boundary then they started synthesizing for their own there was no sharing and then developed the variability and with that developed the ego the attachment the love the aggression and everything uh, what we see all the organisms and this behavior of selfishness is being reflected by the human beings also where we consider the another person even our brothers or even our uh, society members even our uh, people from different caste people from different race people from other country and someday if some people will settle in mars then after some few generation then they will start hating the uh, people of the earth and then there may be a war between the mars and the people of uh, earth so this is all war and all this is because of this nature of the boundary and the nature of thinking ourselves different from others and thus creating uh, ego and hatred for others so students this behavior of the molecule which is developed as uh, been defined as a selfish gene developed because of the phospholipids because of the boundary between them and uh, now you must be thinking sir why what does this have to be uh, with the fertilization because you see uh, during the fertilization the sperm and the ova meet 
and when these uh, sperm and the ova meet they have to shed a little part of this plasma membrane that is the layer of the phospholipid layer and when they open up and they fuse and they share then only a new creation is born so uh, sharing forms new creation and it is the love which forms a new creation and uh, once uh, there is an opening once there is the removal of the lipid layer then only the fusion is possible and I hope uh, you all have got the message here. So we will be talking about the external fertilization and the internal fertilization. Thank you students for listening patiently.